what's been the biggest thing you've kind of had to grow accustomed to at Oregon State? What's, I guess, the most different, especially in terms of like spring practice than Nebraska? Um, you know, I think it's just been all this rain. You know, there's something that I grew up in Southern California with not a whole lot of rain, but uh, I, love, I love Actually, I've, I've, very, I've very much like the rain now. It's, uh, but, I mean, for the most part, football is football. You know, you learn a new system and you, know, you learn the shape of the team. and how guys interact and it's, you know, it's still fun. How would you say you touch on other transfers are really fitting in? Um, not only with the, like the other players, but with the coaching staff as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's there's no, you know, sign that we're not, you know, doing everything that we can to show that, you know, we want to be Beavers first and foremost. And, you know, our past may have started at other places, but, um, you know, we're here to work and I think that we're gelling really well with the other guys on the team that, you know, the coaching staff has, has welcomed us with open arms. And, how is uh, obviously Tajon hurt? Colby was out today. Um, what is not having those guys during the spring practice? How does that affect you as a quarterback? Well, you know, uh, I think we got a lot of other guys stepping up. You know, young guys like yeah, Anthony Gould's made a lot of good plays. Um, Josiah Irish is still in the mix. You know, Hodge is always, you know, always there, kind of constant. Uh, Champs and they have great plays. I mean, there's, there's, we got guys everywhere. You know, um, one guy goes down, another one steps up, and you know, that's kind of the mindset that we have. Um, um, what have you seen uh, that's really impressed you out of specifically the tight ends? I mean, you, I, th I think they were more worked in yeah. on the pass blocking or rather run blocking last year. Um, what have you seen differently from them in terms of stretching the field? Well, I mean, I think all of them have the ability to run routes at a high level. Um, you know, Noah is obviously probably the most proficient, and I'd say a small. So, man, uh, Tegan's made great strides too. You know, he's. Uh, I used to always see him, you know, banging the the pad after practice, and I was like, hey, bro, you want to want to come throw a couple of routes, you know? Um, and so, I, but they made great strides. I think Coach Paz is getting better. Uh, I'm excited for him. There's a couple times you were taking hand or snaps under center, and there were fumbles. Was that you getting your hands out too early? The center not getting the ball up enough, or just more time working on it? Yeah, I mean that's what we do those periods for, you know, just to, to shore up a snap. And you know, we I think we've been I don't think we've fumbled any in, in the actual practices. You know, those, that's why you do quarterback snaps too, just to make sure those things don't happen. And how do you feel comfortable going ahead towards obviously you guys are gonna be up in Portland working this weekend and then uh, the spring game coming up? Are you ready yeah. for all that? Oh yeah, I mean I'm excited. You know, at the end of the day, this is what we love to do. I mean, there's not a guy on this team that doesn't love out, coming out here every day, putting his helmet on, strapping up the pads, and you know going after it. Uh, so I'm I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm you know, really excited to get going here. Here comes the rain. Yeah, exactly. Time to get out of here. Thanks, Tristan. Yeah.